What's going on guys, this is Sam. We got our first information about iOS 11.2.1 earlier today after 9to5Mac published this really interesting article. The Apple security flaws continue to come out. It's starting to get a little bit concerning that there's all of these vulnerabilities that we're just finding out about now that have actually been present in firmwares for a really long time. We heard about the macOS root exploit early last week where you could log into any computer running macOS High Sierra 10.13.1 as root and get access to a bunch of things that no one should really have access to without a password. And today we're looking at a HomeKit vulnerability that allowed people to have unauthorized access to any of your smart home devices remotely, meaning garage door openers, locks, smart lights, and anything else that you connected with HomeKit. So the good news here is that a fix is already out. So before you start running around your home, unplugging every HomeKit enabled accessory, know that you're already protected. Apple issued a server-side fix to correct the issue temporarily. The problem here is that they had to disable remote access to shared users, which is what I believe the issue and the exploit was centered around. A fix for that, so like a fix for the fix, is coming in a future software update sometime quote early next week i'm calling it ios 11.2.1 i couldn't think of anything else that apple would call it so we will definitely be seeing some ios software update next week to correct the issue for good the server side fix is just sort of like a temporary band-aid to make sure that no immediate danger is still present now in their article 9 to 5 max said that the vulnerability was pretty difficult to reproduce so it wasn't super easy it wasn't something like the root vulnerability with mac os high sierra 10.13.1 where anyone could type Type and root and get access to your computer. This is much more complicated and uh, a lot more in depth from what they highlighted in their article. They also didn't share exactly how it worked because it's probably not a good idea to publish a step by step how to reproduce the security flaw issue before the official fixes out just in case it wasn't entirely patched. But there is a patch coming. It's still kind of scary that this was present for a while and it was just noticed in the past few days. iOS 11.2 was in beta for a very long time and knowing that I was unprotected for that long is kind of concerning. This is another situation where you want to ask how this slipped through. How does something this big where someone could open up a lock in your house or open your garage door unauthorized slip through the gates. Uh, it's it's kind of crazy. Apple has really been struggling with these security risks lately, which is weird because usually they're on top of their game. They've been the best in recent years at preventing these from existing in the first place, except in the second half of 2017. And just like we're asking these questions, I'm sure that Apple is asking themselves the exact same thing. How are we letting these huge security flaws go unnoticed and ship in public firmwares for a healthy amount of time before anyone notices? I don't know the answer to that. I don't know if Apple knows the answer to that, but I really hope that they are starting to look into this because these are not isolated issues. It was not just one issue with the Mac in the past three years. It was an issue with macOS High Sierra. Now we have another issue with iOS 11 and who knows if there are more vulnerabilities out there that are just waiting to be discovered. I had no idea that I would be making a video on a serious HomeKit security flaw on an arbitrary Thursday afternoon, just a week after another huge Apple security exploit was discovered. I want to hear your thoughts on this down below. Do you think that there is a serious internal problem with Apple's checks and balances for software security? Or do you think these are just isolated incidents? Maybe I'm over exaggerating. Maybe there aren't any other issues, but it definitely lets me think, is there something else that Apple may have missed? Am I at risk right now with the iPhone in my pocket or the HomeKit accessories that are in my house right now? Just some food for thought. I wouldn't be too worried about it. I'm sure there aren't any other massive glitches, but honestly, at this point, we really don't know for sure. If you guys enjoyed this video, as always, it does help me out if you drop a like down below. Hit subscribe for more videos in the future, and I've got new merch out if you want to help support the channel. I've been Sam. I hope you're doing great, and I'll talk to you in the next one.